one fair fight. Obey my command at all times. And like you said about Defend like yourself all the time. Perfect example. I say stop, you have to stop. Ring. I say walk the fight. Yeah, the, the, the Muay Thai community, it's like, it's, you know, it's like playing basketball against somebody. You're not pissed off, you know, when you, when you dunk on them. You just, you really want to exhibit your skills. You want to see, you know, what the other person has to offer, what you can do when you match up against them. So like you were saying, this fight was a long time in the making. These are two guys with very different styles, but both very dangerous. And we start off round one, Halavacek in the pink. Elijah Clark in the black, both feeling each other out, trying to be smart about this fight. Brett, extremely good at catching kicks and dumping somebody to the canvas. He's extremely good at that. He's a general sense of accuracy. Elijah, Elijah Clark, very good at cornering somebody and hitting them with leg kicks. Very evasive fighter too, I love it. Now, Brett is the type of fighter he, you know, he sits back and he counters a lot. Elijah Clark, you know, very, very good at his speed and his power. Brett said that he, this time around he would be a little bit more aggressive. He wouldn't fall back as much. He would put a little bit more pressure on Elijah Clark. So Elijah probably anticipating that, anticipating maybe Brett coming in this time around. Beautiful leg kick there. A nice body shot by Halavacek. And Halavacek had a very difficult fight, his last fight. Uh, his last fight in March. You know, he had, a, he had a devastating cut, really bad cut the first round. He fought the entire fight like that. Lost a, a unanimous decision, but, you know, like I said, he, he's always very dangerous, always very game. Learned a lot from that fight. Worked hard in his conditioning here. The one thing too is that if you look at these two guys, Brett is noticeably bigger. They're both big men, but Brett is noticeably, because he cuts down from the 200s. So he hydrates back up fairly. Elijah walks around fairly pretty much at fight weight most of the time. Oh, nice spinning elbow there by Brett. Well-timed. Brett doing a good job of checking uh, Clark's kicks and also he's, he has good head movement here. Good head movement I haven't seen from, I didn't see from Brett in his last fight. Nice elbow. Good, beautiful knee. Right under the rib cage of Elijah of uh, Brett Halavacek, landed by Elijah Clark. And Brett's looking to set up those elbows. Elijah Clark shells up. And, uh, oh, nice, nice right, right hand that lands by Elijah. Answered back by Brett. Oh, big Good knee man. that lands and ends that round. Technical knockout with leg kicks. The only answer to this, and it's sad, is like because he's still an amateur, is the winner of this against Gaius Ebron. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, oh, nice. Right nice across counter. both legs. Uh, leg kick right across both legs by Brett Halavacek. Inside burn kick again by Elijah Clark. What I like that Clark is doing is that what he does is he steps his leg back and just changes from southpaw to orthodox and still keeps himself in fighting range. Wow, Halavacek, you know, with that Taekwondo background as well, He's just got amazing flexibility. Yeah. His mobility is really, really awesome. Nice uh, combination there by Halavacek, really working on his boxing. Mike and Susan Reno at the Watt have excellent boxing. They, they do a great job of conditioning everybody's hands over there. Oh. 
Wow. See, great timing by Brett. I mean, Elijah Clark, uh, you know, throwing good, good kicks and good combinations, but Brett was able to capitalize by catching the kick. Oh, nice elbow. Uh, see, even when Halavacek backs up, but he's 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 very comfortable Absolutely. fighting off of the ropes. You know, like he'll let he'll bait somebody, he'll let them back him up. He doesn't have a problem with just hanging out in the corner. Nice hug. Clark shells up well, though. Uh, you know, because a lot of these power punches from Brett he's been able to block, but he hasn't yet been able to answer off of them. I think it would help Clark to actually start letting his hands go a little bit, like his corner saying. More combinations. He's pensive because Brett is firing back and firing back hard. Yeah, he, he's using his range is what I really love to see. He's using his elbows. Nice, beautiful knee that lands straight down the middle by Clark. Ten second count. Nice body shot. Answers back of the knee. Yeah, Clark was able to keep his balance really, really well there. So again, Halavacek being very active. Not sitting back too much, which I know is something that Phil Nurse loves to see. Yeah. Him, him staying active, is staying active. And I know that this is something that they worked on for this fight. Well, you can't sit back with so much. I mean, Elijah Clark is like a predator. Yes. He'll just, he'll just take you apart. He is like a one-man pack of wolves. And he will take you apart a piece at a time if you sit back and let him. And he will make... He will not just find a weak spot, he will make a bigger hole in your defense and capitalize on it. Right. You know, Halavichuk having a lot more experience in the pro scene um, than Eliza Clark. Absolutely, he's fought, uh, fought for, like, did uh, Road to Glory. Um, yeah, Lions fight. Lions fight. Yeah. Like, like, Brett with a teep right away, pushing Elijah Clark back. A nice leg kick by Elijah Clark. We know that he is definitely has a talent for leg kicks. And it's, sh it's showing on Elijah's leg. Like, it's welted up. Brett pumping that jab out there, just not allowing Clark to come in and really set anything up. Again, very evasive fighter. He does well with leaning back and moving out of the way. He's one of those guys, Halavichuk is one of those guys that can be easy. Nice if right he, body, right to the body. Yeah, good body shot. Excellent well job of keeping up. his balance there, but big shot by Halavichuk. Nice elbow. Elbow lands by Elijah Clark, and then jumping elbow by Brett. Another leg kick by Elijah Clark. He's got to do something after he lands that leg kick, though, while Brett is off balance, because yep. as soon as Brett gets his establishment, he will come with an attack like that, as such as a spinning elbow. So again, that, that left leg of of Halavacek, you can see very, very bruised. As well as the, the left side rib cage. Right, but but he's had he's had a lot more answers for, for Clark as far as punches, body shots, elbows. Oh, there's that leg kick again by Elijah Clark. Okay. 
Clark took notice of the fact that you know he had he had he had, he had hit Brett uh, Brett with a low shot and just let him know, hey, take that time if you need it. Beautiful elbow. Another another elbow, just jumping elbow. But Elijah's answering to every time he's thrown that jumping elbow has been to punish the legs. Oh, oh. nice big kick right to the left side of Olavacek. Phil Nurse calling for Brett to press the action and not step back. This has been a very tense fight. I mean, it's like you never know what's going to happen. You never know what we, either one of them are going to come out with. You know, Brett with his impeccable timing and counter striking. Elijah Clark with his powerful kicks to the body and to the leg. If I had to, if I had to compare this to, to I would say that Brett's like a quiet storm and Elijah Clark is like thunder. Absolutely, absolutely. And Brett's, and Brett's, Brett's trying to capitalize on openings from Elijah's attack and vice versa. It's like, uh, he's, like I said, with that, that over the top elbow, every time he returns that, Elijah answers back. So it's like a counter counter fight. Right. And when Elijah is walking forward, Brett jumps up. Yep. And that's when he's able to uh, utilize that jumping elbow. And we don't see that very often. You no. know, it's very umbach. It's, it's kind of fun. It's, it's nice to see. Elijah, you know, still in the southpaw stance, trying to go over the top of Brett's left hand. We're gonna just uh, fix the project, the yeah, of um, on Halavacek. So you know, just take it off. Yeah, it's a, it emulated it's uh, basically a good luck charm. Um, you know, in, in Thailand, it was like it would the material would need some add to something special, like your grandmother's blanket or uh, you know something from your home or anything yeah. like, traditional like that. And you know we wear them still to, to kind of pay respect for this this beautiful art that we that we studied in their traditions. But if it's getting in your way, you get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> Elijah looking to, to to fake and set Brett up with a, with something. Elijah just very quick and very limber. Brett again now looking to come forward. Beautiful mobility from, from Elijah. Yeah, Stop definitely. Oh, there's a spinning elbow. Again, Landed on the for forearm, though, of Elijah Clark. Question mark kick. Landed on the forearm of Elijah Clark. Elijah doing a good job of keeping his guard up now for some of these onslaughts um, from Halavacek. Nothing really landed clean there. Reaching into that Taekwondo background there. Yeah, you know, Brett can throw all different types of kicks at you. And again, it's the end of the night, man. This canvas is slippery as hell. Attacks, he's starting to show it, and he's giving Elijah time to cover. Yeah, he, he he's giving Elijah a little bit of time to recover. Um, if he if he could follow up with a little bit more strikes, he, he might be able to kind of keep Elijah unsettled. Hey, 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 
and the corner calling for the leg. Yeah, it, it's it's been what's been working for Eliza Clark. Um, and you, you kind of want to see him do more after the leg kick, maybe throw his punches or throw his hands. Elijah seems to be a little bit uh, tentative about throwing his punches. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. But he's finding that, that lead leg, which hell of a check is starting to like, he switched to a southpaw stance in for a bit, which is saying that it's starting to pro be a problem. You can see he's not coming off with his kicks as quick as he was. Yeah. You know, it's, it's that lead leg is an issue. It has slowed him down. Yeah, it is um, the fact that when Elijah Clark does throw his leg kicks, he's not hitting you with the top of his foot. It's shit. It's all shin. Yeah. It's like a baseball bat. Um, and I believe that this round we're going to see a lot more of that. I think that every time Elijah's going to counter, something's going to happen to that leg. I mean, Brett, uh, this is a good fight for him to, you know, rebuild his confidence, especially since uh, that last fight, you know, you could see towards the end of it, he, I think he knew that he lost. Yep. Um, Steven Richards is a very tough fighter as well, and uh, he didn't let Brett set anything up. Brett also had to deal with being cut and, and fighting all the way through that cut, and it was a big cut. Fifth and final. All right, so we are at the fifth and final round. The urgency on Elijah Clark is definitely there. He, he's got to do something. Halavacek is doing a little bit more of the same thing now. He's using his knees. Oh, that, that knee went up to the head. Clark confident in the clinch. He's, he's, he's definitely not hesitant in the clinch. Brett trying to back Clark off of him now. Nice tee by Elijah Clark. Nice left hook. Clark, you know, just, just pressing forward, just pressing forward. And he brings himself back to the middle of the ring, which is actually very smart. Brings himself to the middle of the ring so that, that Brett couldn't bait him. Now they're in the corner, and really, that's Brett's world. He can fight you off the ropes. He'll bait you there. He won't give you much to do. Elijah Clark not landing some knees here. Brett trapping the arm of Elijah Clark, nice throwing throw. him off balance. Phil Nurse calling for more elbows. Again, uh, Brett trapping the hand of Elijah Clark. Elijah Clark, like, comfortable in the cringe. Throws a right elbow of his own over the top. It seemed that, the, that, that Halavichik has slowed down a bit here. Head kick does not land. Uh, Elijah Clark had his hand up for that one. He was able to block that kick. Throws another big leg kick towards, the, towards that exchange. Nice knee by Elijah Clark. Spinning elbow by Brett. Uppercut and big, big knee. Nice teep by Elijah Clark here. Brett comes in for the clinch. Clark with a big knee. Clark with another big knee. Brett trying to win the end of this round here. Throwing everything he can. Goes for the Sanchai kick, which is not allowed. But it's okay. He just was throwing his athleticism towards the end of that round. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's an impressive kick, but it, it's not allowed um, under the WBC rules because 
it, it, your feet need to be on the ground at all times. You need to have both feet on the ground at all times. So this fight went the distance. Again, this is uh, Brett Holovacek defending his WBC super middleweight title against Elijah Clark. Uh, went all five rounds. We're going to the judge's decision. I think it was Holovacek. I, I think he had a lot more strikes. I think he had a lot more answers. Um, I definitely might say that I'm going to give some rounds to Elijah Clark too with the use of his leg kicks. The, the last round, Clark had, you know, just some really, really big knees that landed flush. So we shall see how the judges score it. Gavin, what are your thoughts? I have to disagree. I, I think that Elijah was countering better. I think that, uh, I think he answered every time that Brent came with something. He had an answer for it. Uh, I think it's going to be Clark. I mean, I think it can definitely go either way. We've, we've got the leg kicks and the body kicks of Elijah Clark. Yep. Uh, we had some of the, the baiting combinations um, from Halavacek. So it really, it's, it just depends on what how they call it. Absolutely. I, I didn't see many combinations uh, from Elijah Clark, but um, I saw a few more from Malavichek. I definitely would say the fifth round, it looked like Brett took off a little bit towards the end. Yeah. So I would give the, the fifth round to Elijah Clark, Clark certainly, um, but we'll see how the judges saw it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters. After five rounds of action here at the Skylight Modern, we go to the judges' score totals. Judge A, 49 to 46. Judge B and Judge C both scored the bout identically, 48 to 47, all three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC US Super Middleweight Champion, Brett Holavacek. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for another great night of Muay Thai action brought to you by Friday Night Fights. We had a great time. I had a great time. I mean, uh, what are you going to say about these title bouts tonight? Uh, a great show and a great venue. Production went really well. Uh, I just thought it was like from uh, at a certain level, the fights just took off. You started to see the, the, the technique get better and better and better and better. And all you can say is, like, with the younger fighters, the more fights they get, obviously, the better they're going to get. Um, we saw some really, really good stuff. I think that, in my opinion, that last, the last decision was a little unexpected. But, uh, yeah, I mean, amazing show straight off the bat. Well, that shows you some of the uh, really talented fighters that the East Coast has to offer. Thank you guys again so much for joining us. I'm Phoenix Carnavalli alongside Gavin Von Black. If you're interested in what's next with Friday Night Fights, check out www.fridaynightfights.com and we'll see you at the next show.